Hello you magnificent bastards and welcome back to Final Fantasy 3. I'm of course your host, The Revenge, and um, last we left off we got a new party member named Ark and then we died. Uh, because I was being dumb. Uh, I think there is a uh, airship in this desert, I think he spoke of it. Ooh, there we go. You couldn't see it, it's actually... Um... Oh, who is that? Hello? Looks like a pirate or something. Ah! Who? Who are you? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. This is Sid's airship, and he's letting us use it. I think she's a pirate. She'll steal the stuff. She's called Revia, raised in Kazus by the Mithril Smith Taka. Oh, she's the daughter. Okay. Um, whose rigorous training has uh, led her to run away from home again. Okay. Good job. Keep her name. Um, I'm Rafia. And I hope you know that my father and I forged the parts for the ship back in Kazus. So that means you're the blacksmith's daughter. You have to help us make a mithril ring. Yes, that's the only way we'll be able to lift the curse on Kazus. I. I can't. I can't make mithril rings. I didn't study that far. I didn't want to. Oh, swell. I don't think Sid's going to be particularly happy with that news. Especially since he's now a uh, stick figure. Wait. I know where to, I, we can find a ring. Well, that's good. My father forged a mithril ring for King Sassone a long time ago. You should still have it. Where, where is that guy? Let me go with you. I can't make mithril rings, but I can help. Uh, but I want to help my father and the people of Kazus. Good. I think she should come with us, Luneth. Me too. Slacking off saved her from the curse, so maybe that look might drop off on us. So they want to slack off as well. It's basically what they're saying. Hey, that's not funny! Well, I think, I think it was. So now we have uh, a party of three. Just need one more guy. All aboard! Oh. Wait, what? Awesome. Where is spaceship? There's a cave over there. Is this uh, is this that uh, castle that we're talking about? Let's have a look. Hello? Castle Sazune. Well, it's the name of the king, all right. Hello? A terrible curse has befallen the two people in Castle Sazune while I was gone. Only the power of Mithra Ring may save them, I am told, but Kazus is suffering from the same fate as Sasune. I must do something, but where will I find a Mithra Ring? I am the daughter of the blacksmith of Kazus. The king must still have the ring my father made him. Uh, we've come to borrow the king's Mithra Ring to save Kazus. Will you let us through? An audience with the king, yes, I can believe I can arrange that. Come, I will be waiting in the throne room. Good. So, on to the throne room we go. I believe there's some loot around here as well, but I think, if I recall correctly, last time I tried to get um, in the towers, uh, everything uh, I died. I'm worried about the king and princess Sarah, but I can't seem to do much of anything in this state. No, you're a stick figure. Although they're a different color, aren't they? Is there any way to lift the jinn's curse? Yes, there is. We're working on it. Well, this is a fine mess that someone's gotten us into. What will become of this kingdom? Well, is it really a kingdom, though? I mean, it's just one castle. Hello? If I weren't a ghost, I'd go and defeat the djinn myself. You're not a ghost, you're a stick figure. Hello? I believe there's some secrets here in the wall, so... Let's keep an eye out for those. You can run, of course. Look. There are some chests we can't get to yet. Maybe the next floor. Because there's definitely... Look! There it is. Haha! -ha, we can walk through those. That's good. There's nothing useful in those supplies there. But here are some chests. A thousand gil! We're rich! And another thousand! That's just so much. 
Hello? Uh, well, I guess we could swim there, if we could swim. And there's a stair down here, I think. Looks like stairs. No, it's just water. Never mind, it's water. And walk on water. We're not Jesus. Uh, where does this lead? Oh, more chests. A leather shield. And blizzard. Oh, cool, we can now do spells. Oh, well, we could already. Oh, okay. Oh, look. There's the crack in the wall that signifies that we can go there. No idea where we're going, by the way. Uh, hello? There should be somewhere here that we can go. I'm sure. I mean, why else was this here? Oh, there we go. Okay, then. Bronze knuckles? Can we use that? Sounds cool. Um, actually, what what does... Um, hold on. Equipment. What does she have? She's got a light knife. But we could give her bronze knuckles. Okay, then... Oh, okay. So apparently she can... Use something on the side as well? Or long sword? Sure. Uh, I think that's all we can do right now. As he for equipment, he's still got the knife, but we can give him a dagger and a knife. I might have changed this the last time, I can't remember exactly, but of course I died. So, now this is the stuff we've got on. I think it's, um, it's quite good, actually. Let's go down again. And go back in here. Is there something on this side as well? Oh, yes. Another chest. Phoenix down. That's to revive party members, I think. Anything else? No? Okay. I guess this is the throne room? No, this is it. This is it, I'm sure. Oh, okay. I was still exploring. The Jin's curse has befallen us all, and I am no exception. Oh, obviously. Sir, Saya! These younglings have come seeking the Mithril Ring to counter the curse. The Mithril Ring? You seek to use its power to banish the djinn once again? I would grant you this boon, however my daughter holds the ring and she went missing shortly before the curse was, curse was cast upon us. If the princess holds the ring, the djinn may have taken her. Oh yes. If it is so, I fear for my precious, precious Sarah. The djinn must have taken her to its cave in to the north. Oh, that's that cave we saw. Don't worry, sir. We'll get it back. I think it's Sire to you. Sire, I would like to ask you for your leave to accompany these brave souls to the sealed cave and rescue Sar Lady Sarah. And his name is Ingus, a loyal soldier of King Sassone's army. He narrowly escaped the Jin's curse. His prime concern is find finding the missing pr prince, Princess Sarah. And if he's so loyal, well, why would he come to to our, join our party. You have my leave, Ingus. Unless there are any objections? Of course not! His sword is worth twice that of these two. Hey! Now that's not fair, but I agree that having one of the king's men with us would help us a lot. And he joins the party. Good. There's a secret secret passageway in the sealed cave. Search for the skeleton key. What? I'm counting on you and your friends. Ingus, banish the djinn and save us all. I think I changed the voice halfway through. Sorry about that. Oh! So we could get a white slayer in the western tower? Uh, and the sealed cave is guarded by undead. 
the cure is harmful to them. That's good to know, both of those. Um, so what I'll do is first I'll go out of the, this um, castle. Just got many stories. Um, and then we go out here, and first thing we're gonna do is fly here and see if we can get those powers the crystal was talking about, and have a quick, quick save as well. Sorry for this, but it has to be done because now there's four of us, and I think that's what the crystal wanted. So let's have a look if it would now bestow powers upon us. Have we been here? Wait. Did it say something? No. Okay. Leather cap, always nice. And some bronze bracers. It's probably stuff we can equip. He's got bronze brazers. Oh, we can do it this way. Nice. Um, everyone has ladder caps, so that's fine. You can have the ladder shield. And apparently he has to deal with that knife. Um, that's fine for now. Oh no, enemies! It's one goblin. It's not very dangerous. Attack him. They look very menacing, look at that! Ooh, he's the fastest, nice! Ten gil, an XP, and a high potion? Wow! I feel like that high potion might have been a bit excessive. More chests, a long sword, bronze bracers, oh, and enemies. Ooh, this is a somewhat more potent enemy. Uh, let's t attack the blue wisp first with everything. I'm not sure whether they will switch targets if I kill them early. So let's have a look how that works. So now they are dead. Oh, and they do switch. But of course you can't choose which one they switch to. 21 damage and everything is dead before they even get a chance to hit us. Great! And a job level for Lunath. Good. What's in here? Sleep. Okay. Oh! I don't think we want to fall in there yet. Another goblin. Let's just murder him. That was enough. Good! Bronze knuckles and a longsword. Oh, that's actually stuff we can all use. So let's go to back to equipment. I think he has got got himself covered. That's fine. Um, we will wait with him for now. She will get another set of bronze knuckles. She will just punch everything to death. death. Like a whirlwind of punches. Uh, we don't have anything more for him, but we can now equip him with a longsword. And then we can change him, his weapons to two long swords. Seems excessive again, but whatever. Deal with it. Now this is the part where we fell down. Another goblin decides to attack us. <laughs> Look at that. 40 damage in 2 hits! Wow! She's a powerhouse! So we're going up here? Should we heal? Maybe we can heal. I'm not sure where we need it, but now's the time. And another blue wisp and carbuncle. Let's see how fast we can get them down. 18 damage is enough to kill him. And then it's a quick hit to the carbuncle and it also dies. It's going well. Very little XP from this though. And we won't see the snapping turtle again. Because we killed him. Oh, 
can clearly see that Ingus is the real um, knight here because he's got 61 HP. Then again, that would be boring, maybe. Let's have a, see, uh, have a look what the crystal says. Hello? No? Not talking to me? Shit. Well, okay then. That was a bit of a useless um, endeavor, but... Uh, I guess we have to attack the genie first before we get powers. So we have to go here. Oh. Uh, no, we first want to try and take the sword. Because it's good against undead and apparently we will uh, encounter them much. And it's apparently in the left tower, so... But if I recall correctly, the enemies here are very, very strong, so we might die. I'm worried. Oh, here we go. It's two enemies and they even attack us from the back but that means that we're highly defended I think 8 damage is quite a lot and she's poisoned or something let's attack the zombies with everything we've got 3 damage of course because we're on the back line that does less damage to them but then again we're better defended as well so hopefully this helps ooh 5 damage to Ingus this fight will take longer now. 7 damage to Ingus. Um, I think being on the back line isn't a bad thing in this case. Come on, kill him already! Oh, he hits Ingus. And we have a miss. That's painful. Maybe we should get Ingus to the front row. That's one zombie down. Oof. Now we move him to the front as well because he's a shield. he has a shield so he will be better defended against this. And Ingus will be dealing a lot more damage this time. 9 damage. That's not actually that much. Ooh, 14 damage to Lunath. Damn. Only 6 damage to the, the zombie. For some reason, the only poison that has ever been dealt is to Rakia. I don't know why that is. Maybe it was like a first attack kind of thing? Or maybe they they dared to do some poison attack because they were fighting from the back? I don't know. We gain a level at least. So that's good. Ooh, and another two zombies. No back attack this time. Um, so maybe we can dispatch them quicker, but it is also more dangerous. 9 damage. Kind of want to deal with them quickly. 15 damage. Oh crap. Ooh. Lunas is also not looking great. Um, I think he can do uh, get a po potion on himself because... Um, He's not doing too much damage anyway. And let's hope Refia is not going down. That's one zombie down. Here's a potion. Ooh, she misses one. 16 damage to Ingus. We're all not doing too well. Another 7 damage to the zombie. It's 2 hits, that's good. Oh, and he dies. Great. Another drop level and they're getting levels now. That's, that's probably good. Because that increases their stats. I think. It's a wooden arrow. And a holy arrow. Interesting. 
Another bunch of zombies. Let's see how we deal with this. Wait, did Ingus just do a double attack? I think he did. Ooh, that's uh, that's wrap you down. Damn. We will need to do a Phoenix down on her, I think. Whoa, critical hit. And yeah, he does do a double attack. Uh, Ingus is being down on his health. And there goes the zombie. Another level for Lunath and for Ark. Um, now we need to use some items. We're gonna use the Phoenix Down we've got. Oops. Um, and use some potions. One on Raffi and one on Ingus. Should get us through this tower, hopefully. Is this it? It's a trap! Oh, damn. You got the White Slayer, but there's some kind of uh, griffin. Hopefully, we can deal with this. He now also does a double attack. Whoa, and he does a triple attack. Oh, he does 28 uh, damage. Ark will need to heal himself. Meanwhile, the rest keeps on the attack. Potion for Ark. Fire. Oh, damn. 40 damage. Uh, do we use a high potion? That is, I mean, that high potion is way too good for this. I'm gonna just stay on him. Hopefully, we can kill him before he attacks again. Because we have a lot of damage output. Look, four hits. Wasn't good enough. He's doing another fire. Oh damn, everyone is hit, and Ark is down. I don't want to use a Phoenix down because that would bring him back on very low health and that's just world, not worth the effort. But the rest of them do it, and that was a disappointing amount of XP, I have to say. Okay, so now we have White Slayer. Let's have a look at what he does. Um, it's not here, I don't think. Wait. Oh, sword. That works. Equipment. Uh, Ingus. He probably needs it more than anyone. Let's give him White Slayer. And then get out of here. Another pair of zombies, but now we've got White Slayer on our side. Look at it, it's red and it does stuff. 44 damage to that white, to that uh, to that zombie. Ugh. He can pretty much just murder them on his own. Another 66 XP and Refia gets a level. Maybe he now, or oh, she now too, um, can do the double attack. And let's get out of here. Uh, back attack, that's not not helpful at all. Wow, she does four attacks. Her damage is almost as good as when she was on the front row last level, so. That's pretty good. 
And of course Ingus is still doing a lot of damage because of his, um, his special sword. But he misses this time both both attacks. Ugh. Thirty-three damage and the uh, zombie is down. Then it gets yet another level. It's going fast now. I mean, I'm sure that soon we will run out of. Oh, what is this? This might be dangerous. I don't like this. Oh, it actually works on that one as well. Good. Three hits. I think there was a miss in there. And that one dies as well. Good job. I thought that would be dangerous, but it was okay in the end. Revia gets another level. Job levels increase as well, but I think those jobs are very temporary, so not too worried about them. So now I think I'm gonna heal in the town and um, and then uh, come back for the other tower because maybe there's some loot in there as well. So um, I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you guys next time. Cheerio! There we go. Ooh, and a big hit on Ark who is almost da down. Oh, and they killed him! Bastards. And then this is the off ramp. Or on ramp, I, I guess. I mean, I don't know how cars actually navigate that, but um, it seems fine. Uh, that looks like a twist. It's more like a roller coaster turn than. Um, let's see how we do when we get into the cannon. Whoa, there we go! Whoa!